Vaughn, welcome. What do we know about this NBC exclusive on the Zoom meeting tomorrow? And how might the Trump team prepare for this probation interview? Because he's kind of busy for the next Ladies few hours. Please welcome the chairman of the Nevada Right, Alex, he's going to be taking the stage here shortly in Las Vegas. I should note it's going to be more than 100 degrees here today out in the Las Vegas sun. But tomorrow, upon his return to Mar-a-Lago in Florida tonight, NBC News has learned that he will be sitting down over a virtual Zoom session alongside his attorney, Todd Black with a probation officer in New York for a sit-down interview. This is where the probation officer ahead of his sentencing on July 11th is able to ask Donald Trump questions about his financial background, his mental state, his affiliation with other convicted criminals, and the extent to which he has any remorse about the actions that led to his conviction on the 34 felony charges. And so for Donald Trump, of course, this is a big meeting. The probation officer will then ultimately prepare a report that he will provide, he or she will provide to Judge Mershon that will help the judge ultimately make the determination of what sentence he hands down to Donald Trump on July 11. I should note, for Donald Trump being on the campaign trail, this is his first public campaign swing since that conviction in New York. And for him, taking his message on the campaign trail is integral to his ability here to potentially stave off a potential prison sentence, depending on how his appeal goes. And when you're talking to supporters, there's a great many of them that understand and echo largely along Donald Trump's said, complaints or grievances stemming from the charges in the case that were brought against him. I want to let you listen to one woman we talked to a few moments ago. If Donald Trump does get back into the White House, would you want him to seek retribution against those who have brought these charges against oh. him? I mean, you think about Jesus Christ himself. Everybody went against him because he was preaching love and, and doing what was right for the people. And Trump's doing what's right for this nation. And because he's doing that, everybody is against him. Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman from Georgia, was just on stage and mimicked what that gentleman just said, suggesting that Jesus Christ was a convicted felon and that they and the supporters of Donald Trump must do what they can over these next five months to ensure that he has a victory in a battleground state like here in Nevada. Of course, this is politically fraught here, but Donald Trump is doing what he can understanding that the justice system is working and ultimately the sentencing will happen regardless of what he or his supporters believe should be taking place and transpiring out of this trial in New York. Alex.